Whitaker's chocolates have been proudly making premium confectionery for over 130 years, right here in England. It's now 2020, and the lovely people at Whitaker's have something splendid and new to offer. Even better that it's vegan. Those vegan guys. I thank you. Hello, I'm Paul. I'm Jason. Together we are those vegan, vegan guys. guys, and this is another one of our lucky book of taste tests, because of his cheekiness. So, Whitaker's is a chocolate company. It is. Tell me a little bit about Whitaker's. Well, Whitaker's... Because you've he's been looking it up. I've had a quick look at the website um, and obviously done a little bit of uh, looking at the history of Whitaker's chocolates. Um, absolutely amazing, um, consistent, quality confectioner since 1889. There you go. 1889. I hope I've got that date right now. I'm second guessing myself. So anyway, a couple of years ago in Iceland, do you remember when the world was normal? <laughs> and uh, I was doing a bit of Christmas shopping and I noticed these boxes of coffee creams in Iceland with mint creams from Whitaker's with vegan on the box. And they were, I think they were a pound, I think, in Iceland. Yep. Uh, so I was like, right, getting some of them, and then they were only there for Christmas. Anyway, started kind of following the company on Twitter, mm -hmm. and then there was an announcement that there was going to be four new chocolate bars, vegan approved. Oh yes. Vegan society ticked. So this in here is like, oh. What, what did you say? <laughs> and I didn't say that. I didn't, oh. and, I, and I didn't do that either because I was on my phone. Um, I messaged the company uh, and they very generously sent us some samples to taste test and review um, prior to the official launch. So as Paul said right at the start, we are incredibly lucky lads. But also, um, Whitaker's are lucky because those vegan guys are looking at their chocolate and reviewing it in a down-to-earth vegan way. Yeah. Now these are what you would call luxury bars of yes. chocolate. These, these new ones. Um, we've already opened the coffee creams because they weren't new to us. That's fair. Uh, we had one the other night and thoroughly enjoyed it. If you like coffee, if you ever liked coffee sweets, these coffee creams, oh, they're so good. But we're actually here mainly to talk about these new bars today. Yes. So I wonder if we could get them up there, Jason, if we hold two each. Okay. Could we get them up there and will Polly be a good lady and focus on them? Possibly. Yes, good girl, Polly. Well done, darling. Oh, she's brave. It's whether she focuses back on us again now. Let's go back. Yes. Well done, Polly. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got, what have we got? Um, we've got, I'll kind of do them like this, right? We've got chili and orange, rhubarb and ginger, these two. Right up his street. Lime and sea salt. Do you remember chocolate limes? I made a chocolate lime vegan cake once, it was gorgeous. Lemon and cardamom. Glorious. Glorious. So we are mega excited to dive in, do some taste and testing. Salted caramel creams, yes. which I never knew they even did, so we'll try one of them as well. But, right. So let's just pause for a second. I'm, I'm inclined go on. to go for what would personally be my least favourite if I had to choose. Yes, I get you, I get you. And that would be chili and orange. Chili and orange. Yeah. I love chili, I don't like chocolate orange. Pre vegan. No, I don't hate it. I oh. loved Terry's chocolate orange. Just choose it. Back in the day. Um, thoroughly enjoyed, but not a massive fan of chocolate orange generally myself. Um, similar way so yeah do, are we just gonna go at each one individual are we gonna get them up should we just start should yeah do it yeah yeah start now we have to tell you unfortunately our worldwide viewers that you can only order from the Whitaker's website uh, the link of which we shall 
put in the description and the first comment. I'll pin a comment with a link to the website because you can order from the website uh, but only if you're in the UK. However, if any of you Americans have English friends, that's one way that might get you some things and pass them on. And it's well worth it from the small sampling that we've already uh, we've already been ex you know experiencing over the years when we've dipped into the uh, the Whitt Whittaker's range. Um, so I'm just gonna one piece each. I can smell that straight away. Well, that's all part of the process, isn't it? The smell, the crack. We're just gonna go for just one piece each. Mm -hmm. So this is the... We will have a silent sucking moment. We'll try and fast forward it for you so it's not too boring. This is the chilli and chili orange. and orange. Chilli and orange. says on the front dark chocolate and honeycomb pieces infused with chili and orange now I am not as blase about this one as thought would be I thought I'd be like hmm but the chili it's it's yeah go on carry on because I'll and the little bits of crunchy honeycomb and the orange you know sometimes things taste synthetically orange that tastes like infused orange like actual orange funnily enough it tastes like chocolate made by somebody that's been making chocolate since 1889 <laughs> it does <laughs> it's phenomenal mm -hmm. i'm so glad that that chili is there and it's present and it's present within the first five seconds yeah but it's not in, it's not intrusive if you're not a heat lover it's it, 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 it my mouth isn't burning no i'm aware that there was chili in 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 something yeah. i've just eaten so don't be afraid of it but that's delicious mm -hmm. the chili level is a little bit like when you do us um a hot chocolate with chili in it yes a similar kind of thing isn't Which it is gorgeous if you never tried that the old kind of aztec yes uh, method phenomenal okay this is an amazing start not surprised to be honest okay rhubarb and ginger dark chocolate and honeycomb pieces infused with rhubarb and ginger they all oh yeah there's, yes right yeah, yeah, so yeah. there's honeycomb pieces in them all fabulous they're not just little tiny it's a textural thing isn't it really really nice so whilst paul's opening up this second bar um should we just touch very briefly on the price point yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. so um these bars all four of these bars are available on the whitaker's website as paul said from the 19th of october from the 19th of october and they are 199 so if you think about the other chocolate bars that are on the market at the moment they're sort of high-end uh, quality confectionery very reasonably within that price point and we have to be we have to say this is on the this is luxury chocolate <sighs> it is though isn't it it's, mm. it's like artisan right I'm cleansed because I've had a sip of coffee same rhubarb and ginger rhubarb immediately <laughs> delightful the little crunchy bits at the end mm -hmm. yeah gorgeous the rhubarb again it i just... got the rhubarb immediately yeah. as soon as i put it into my mouth i got rhubarb and beautiful rich dark chocolate and there's there's even a warming ginger hmm. there it's not just a yeah it's, it's left my mouth warm like like ginger would can i just say as well and this is beautiful. not something that i i don't think i've ever commented on this with regards to eating chocolate the floral element the floral element that is coming particularly from that one i think it's the rhubarb or the combination of rhubarb and it's ginger both. but the actual um, the smell 
uh, whilst you're eating it as well is so beautiful. Mmm. Now, now, now I'm getting excited. Oh, I love a citrus. I'm a rat lover of a citrus, me. I like a lemon and I love a lime. It's true. So true. Yeah, this is definitely so, your, your, mm, your territory, isn't it? Lime and sea salt. Quick cleanse of the old palate. And the fabulous thing about these is, you know, you're talking, you want to order all four. Eight quid for a Christmas present for somebody. You know, it's around the corner. And we could all do a top in 2020 off with something awesome like this. I think it's amazing, uh, by the way, whilst Paul is um, unwrapping the third bar, um, I think it's amazing that Whitakers have done this. Um, I think it's, you know, one thing for something to be accidentally vegan, it's another thing for it to be emblazoned on the packaging. Uh, yeah. Vegan! What's this one again? Lime and sea salt. Lime and sea salt. You chew it. Only the last bit. Consistently. You let it melt on your tongue. And then the last little bit is this little sort of gathering of honeycomb pieces that you can just lightly bite into. Should you wish, of course. Oh my goodness. So, do you remember chocolate limes? Chocolate limes. <laughs> Imagine chocolate limes, <clears throat> then covered in chocolate. And with a little bit of saltiness coming through, mm -hmm. it's there, but it's, you know, it's not overpowering. Which again is a good thing, getting that balance right. It's a compliment to the lime, mm -hmm. I and mean, that's why it's been chosen. All of these... Genius. All of these combos really, really suit each other. Yeah. Gorgeous. Wow gorgeous i love that it is these are me and jason by the way just in case you don't know like just one piece of chocolate or a chocolate mint of an evening of an evening don't we if you watch our lives we nearly always start alive with a decaf coffee and a mint and a chocolate, chocolate mint. mint but when we've got bars of chocolate in we'll just sell should we just have a piece of chocolate mm. we do. we're not chocolate chewers we're not chocolate scoffers because chocolate needs to be Savoured. Sucked. Slowly. So mm -hmm. it melts in your mouth. Yeah. That's what, and that's what these bars are. These are bars that you don't shove in your face. I mean, you can if you want to, it's your choice. But each one of these, I would, <clears throat> I would savour. It's, it, you're right. You're absolutely right. The, the only slight problem is the flip side of the coin, I would say is, Compared to other high-end quality chocolate, it is actually quite Moorish. I could probably happily eat two or three pieces of an evening. Oh, could eat a bar? Um, you know, well, yeah. Um, but it is, like Paul said, it's about savouring it. It's savouring it. Um, for some of the observant viewers, you may have noticed, by the way, whilst Paul is uh, tackling the fourth bar, um, I am wearing uh, a oh dear. collarless shirt in homage to the uh, the history of Whitaker's chocolate um, and where they all started and when they started, more importantly. So, yes, thought I'd put my colourless shirt on. We okay here? Have you managed? Yes, just about. So this is... Lemon and cardamom. Lemon and cardamom. I'm getting chopped beautiful chocolate and lemon drizzle cake. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm getting a cakey. Mm. Mm. It's really quite exceptional. Exemplary. Exemplary. All of them. Cannot fault all of them absolutely gorgeous they're exactly what they say on the packet they're not messing around with the flavoring inclusions 
includes delicious Whiskers chocolate with beautiful honeycomb. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. And infusions of flavour, beautiful, absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Vegan, fair trade, made in the UK since 1889. They know what they're doing, clearly. Uh, and this is absolutely I'm try one of these, quality. you know. Yeah. I can never get in these packets. Oh, I usually, no. I usually have to use a knife. You'd think we'd never done a taste test before. Should have prepared. I wanted people to see what was opening them, though. No, I need a knife. I'm rubbish with these. Well, you're going to have to get one. I'm, 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 I'm on this side. Ah, wait. Wait. Something's happening. Something's occurred. Hey, you know what? It's good. It's good that you've shown that it can be done. It can be done. Oh, you it don't can need be done. Scissors I'm or a knife. I'm just lazy. <laughs> Most of the time, when it comes to packaging, you don't get off there. I swear to God. <laughs> Salted caramel creams, dark chocolates with sea salt and caramel infused fondant center. Centers, plural. <laughs> Vegan, fair trade. And how many did you get in there? Six, twelve. Fifteen. This is the last one. This is our lunch. Did you know? This is our lunch. Why do you do it? Why do you do it to her? Every time. I like her to try her best. She's just managing like to keep it. us in focus. Shall we? Yeah. I'm gonna just go in, full one. Wow. I'm so happy. Happy Sunday. I feel like I'm, if I ate, if I carried on eating, I feel like I'd almost shift into another dimension. Like a small portal would open up as some kind of chocolate portal and I'd just disappear into this, this other fine chocolatey realm. A bit like Roger in, um, uh, American, American Dad, Dad, when he's watching the Barb Streisand concert. <laughs> what a reference. Yeah. Yeah, a bit like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. Whitaker's. Firstly, well done. Commendable work. This is marvellous. Well done, you. I hope you're right proud of yourselves, because you should be. Yeah. Secondly, thank you so much for paying attention to my cheeky husband messaging you thanks Gemma so much for getting on board with this and for sending us all this to try thirdly vegans assemble link down below we've got no offer code or any, anything nothing was was worked out this wasn't that kind of this was our request can we try your new bars um, and I'm, I'm so glad we did so that we could let you know mm -hmm. that literally every single one of them is gorgeous. Beautiful. And that's tasting them all one after the other <clears throat> with just a coffee. Although I did a palate cleanse between the lime and the lemon and yet still the very defined flavours of what they were were there. I don't think God, I did actually. Gorgeous. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Seriously, everything that Paul just said, I haven't really got any more to <laughs> add to it, really. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, very different, obviously. Kind of don't need to state the obvious. Very different uh, eating experiences between the, uh, the sort of fondant centred uh, chocolates and the sort of more traditional chocolate bar. Um, as Paul said, the flavours come through, they're there. What is written on the packet is what you taste in your mouth and you smell and you experience. A one ninety nine a bar for this kind of quality is really, really good. I'm not sure how much the creams are. Not 100% sure, um, but if you go onto the website, as Paul said, link down below. In the description and first comment. Easiest thing to do on the website, honestly, what I did earlier on, 
go to the search bar, type in vegan, boom. Wait till you see what comes up. Now we're not sure, but if you're in, you'll have to check this out. If you are international, if you're not UK based, you might be able to buy wholesale. I think they do wholesale because um, they do like five kilogram blocks of chocolate. Yeah. I don't know if it's that big that you show demonstrating there. It might be, I don't know. I don't know what a five kilogram block would look like in size. But yeah, they do, um, obviously they um, supply to industries um, and, uh, you know, ship in that way. Uh, so I would imagine, but for customers who are buying stuff like this, uh, UK only. Yeah, but, uh, but if you're in the UK, do a look at the website. Great Christmas gifts to yourself. Yeah. If nobody else. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely spot on. Brilliant. So, yeah, thank you for joining us on this uh, wonderful journey into the glorious world of delightful chocolate. <laughs> Get all those positives in there, all in one sentence. Yeah, thank you. Uh, please consider becoming a member of our channel or becoming a Patreon. Both of them help us tremendously. Uh, but what helps us just as much is a subscribe, a thumbs up and a share to your family or friends. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Mr. I love you. I love you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love you lot. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, Whitakers, thank you for sending us this. Uh, we'll see you again very soon. And until then, please be excellent to yourself and each other.